Hey guys, on today's video, we are doing a pumpkin spice latte. This recipe, besides the pumpkin cream cold brew, has been highly requested and I'm finally gonna do it because it is like the simplest thing and I never really realized how simple the Starbucks version is. So we're pretty much gonna do a Starbucks copycat pumpkin spice latte. So let's get started with this video. And because mainly everybody here has an espresso machine, I'm gonna talk about first and foremost what kind of pods you can use for this recipe and then I'm gonna tell you what pod I'm gonna use. If you have the Virtuo line, I just reviewed Il Cafe which is one that I would definitely try with that recipe. It has a nice coffee flavor. It is a level 11 and it tastes wonderful with milk. So I can see this one working. I personally haven't tried it with this recipe, but I can almost guarantee that you will love it. Another option for sure is double espresso Chiaro. This one right here, this is a like medium roast kind of pod, but it pairs so well with tons of lattes and I could see it pairing well with this recipe. I feel like, and I'm not gonna mention it, but I feel like Bianco Leggero, like I wouldn't include it in this bunch because I feel like it will lose itself within these kind of flavors. It's not as, it's a very light pot. So, I mean, you can try it, but I feel like it'll lose itself within this recipe. So we're not doing that. Another option though for Virtual Line is Double Espresso Scuro, which is right here. If you like a darker roast, then definitely try this one. Chiaro is more of like a medium roast, but I think both will do really, really well for this recipe. For original line, kind of the same thing. If you have Scuro or Corto, I think you'll do really well with those pods. This one is Corto. It's a stronger, like more darker roast. Scuro is more of like a double espresso Chiaro. I would just use two pods. I talked about this in my last video. I don't like reusing one pod twice it just makes the second one a little too watery so just use two pods two capsules especially that's why i have like both eel cafe if you were to do these for virtual line i would still use two pods it is a little more pricey with virtual to use two pods but honestly it's still cheaper than what you would pay at starbucks and then moving on to what i'm using for this recipe and you can get these at target you don't have to order them online i think all the targets have them now this is always dropping stuff this is the starbucks espresso roast capsule and so in honor of the starbucks copycat drink we're going to use these i'm using two of them i feel like it'll be really good for this recipe Virtual line also has them. I don't have it. The only thing that I have from Starbucks is the blonde roast for Virtuo. Um, but they also carry these for Virtuo. So if you want to do the same thing, you can do that. But these options that I just mentioned are going to work just fine. I am able to link these from Target. Or I think Bed Bath & Beyond also has them. As far as recipe ingredients, besides your espresso, you're going to need pumpkin pie sauce. You can make this with pumpkin puree, some sugar, put it in the stove and like you let it do all its thing. But I, if you are new to my channel, my recipes are the easiest, no fuss. So we're doing pumpkin pie. I'll link this one. I always get it from amazon.com, um, but I'm sure torani.com has it too. And then I'm doing Chobani oat milk for this recipe. You can choose whatever milk you want. Starbucks, I believe, uses cinnamon topping, but I'm gonna use pumpkin pie topping because I feel like this just adds a little bit more flavor to my drink versus just cinnamon. So we're gonna do this one instead. And yeah, let's get on with the recipe. All right, we're taking a quarter cup of the Torani pumpkin pie sauce. I know a quarter cup seems like a lot, but it is honestly the only sugar we're using for this drink, nothing else. So a quarter cup is just fine. I'm taking a little milk pitcher and pouring all of that sauce into the pitcher and we're going to brew our espresso right over the sauce just so that it mixes really well. We're using two espresso roast Starbucks capsules so go ahead and brew your first one and then shortly after pop in one new capsule to get a nice fresh espresso roast. taking a half a cup of the Chobani zero sugar oat milk and pouring that into my Aeroshino. I decided to use my Aeroshino because I know not everybody has the Cortista Plus and this way I just keep it simple for all of us. 
Taking a cute mug, I realized it was a little too big, but we'll make it work. Throwing in the espresso sauce mixture, make sure you get all of that sauce at the bottom because it likes to linger. And then we're gonna put in our milk, nice frothy goodness over top. I like to stir everything after that just to make sure that the sauce mixes really well with the drink. And then top it off with the pumpkin pie spice. And that is it. use the wrong cup because I who else hates it when their drink doesn't reach the top whether you're at Starbucks or at home I hate when that happens and I honestly should have used this cup this is a 16 ounce cup and I forgot I didn't do a 7 ounce like pod the biggest one I, I'm using espresso this is an 11 ounce ounce pod it would have it would have reached the top with this one so obviously use the wrong cup but Nonetheless, the drink is the same. So let's try it. Mm, that is good. Guys, definitely try this recipe. If you want a little bit more pumpkin flair, you can always add a teensy bit of syrup, but I feel like you saw the amount of pumpkin <laughs> that we used in Starbucks. It's a four pump pumpkin sauce. I don't know what that equals to, but I used a quarter cup and I feel like that is enough for this um, drink. As far as calories go, we get 40 calories from the milk and 200 calories from the sauce. So your total like drink amount is 240 calories. With Starbucks, I believe it's, let me double check. With the Starbucks one, you get 390 calories. So if you try my recipe, it's definitely less sweet. The four pumps of pumpkin sauce must have, oh, and they're using regular 2% milk. I'm using zero sugar milk, so that has to play a lot into it, but 240 calories versus 390 calories, I'd say I'll drink this one. And if you guys are wondering how to do it ice, it is literally the exact same thing. So when you froth it in your Aeroshino, just make sure that you're using the cold setting, so press long press for cold milk, and then the, uh, the rest of the things would be the same. I like putting the sauce into the espresso cup because I feel like the sauce melts a little bit with the espresso. So I would do it that way. No need to cool. I feel like espresso holds its coffee taste regardless of hot or cold. Most likely I'll try this ice for you guys over on my Instagram reels if you guys want to check it out. If you don't follow me there, I have tons of like mini recipes of different espresso pads, capsules, whatever over there so make sure you're following me there but hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little pumpkin spice latte recipe and if you guys end up trying it let me know if you guys liked it or if you ended up using a different type of milk or added a little bit more sugar to it let me know your style and yeah i think that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye